We're gonna drive to Chicago tomorrow to go, well, not we're not gonna make it to Chicago, but we're gonna leave to go get a puppy. And a miniature schnauzer, a party miniature schnauzer with toy. blue eyes, a toy. She's gonna be like 10 pounds. Um, Whisper just got bred. Whisper, hi girl. Hi girl. You're pretty girl. Here's Diesel. Sit. Of course not. Yeah, it's a good girl. I'm gonna show you what we're bringing for the puppy. I'm just bringing this little thing because she's only two pounds and I'm probably gonna be holding her the whole time. This will just be for um, if we need to run into a store or something. This is not for you. Move, Whisper. Whisper, move. Um, so yeah, she'll be sleeping with me and riding in my lap. Move, Whisper, move. I brought some wipes just in case. Sorry, I had to move the dogs. I brought a leash. I brought a little harness and a collar. So whichever one I want to use. I brought two little tiny bowls for food and water for her. I brought um, a little ball, a little blanket, some diapers just in case we, um, I don't want to let her on the ground too much and in case I run out of pee pads or whatever. Um, I brought her a little toy, little baby toys, some food, and then some pee pads. So, that is what I will be bringing for her. I'm just going to zip it back up. Um, you can probably hear her. One of our Labrador puppies in the background. She hasn't gotten picked up yet, but we have our niece watching our dogs while we're gone, so. Yeah, and it's Christmas. Just happened a couple days ago, so we still got our Christmas stuff out. All the presents are gone though. Snoopy with his American shirt and his hat, some dog treats, and of course everybody needs to have SpongeBob. If you don't like Spongebob, who even are you? But anyways, yeah. We will be on the road tomorrow. I'm trying to get good lighting. Getting our bags packed. Just got a few clothes right now. We're washing some more clothes to get packed. And then we're going to go head to bed after we get our chores done. All right. We're getting ready to go on our trip. We're pretty much packing everything in the car. This is for Diego. We just got him a little snack bag with some goodies in there because um, he has taken our boy Woody to be a guardian home. Hi, huh, buddy. He's already fostered him for quite some time and he fell in love with him. So Woody will be going to live with him. Come on. It's so foggy outside, you can't see. You see, yeah, you can't really see much. It's so foggy, but we're getting ready to go. But he's gotta get a drink of water really quick. All right, so I put some things in there for Woody as well. Um, that's his toy as well. Woody, come, go. I don't think he could jump up there. Come on, Woody, come on. <gasps> Let's go for a trip. You wanna see Diego? Come on, come here. You can't jump up there, just lift him up. We are headed to Chicago to pick up our puppy. We are getting a toy sized schnauzer, a party schnauzer. She's black and white and she has blue eyes, so we are so excited. And I'm gonna update throughout the way. We're on the road, it's very, very foggy still. Um, It's pretty back. dark and you can't see, but Woody was in the back there and this is just before we dropped him off. And then we entered the Sierras. So we are going through the Sierra at Nevadas right now and it is so pretty. Let me show you guys. We dropped Woody off and we are officially on our way. We're like 40 minutes from Reno. Yeah, and we just went through some pretty mountains, but I guess we'll see more going through Utah. But look how pretty these trees are. 
Okay, we um we're in Nevada. Just went to the dumbest subway ever. This subway, oh my gosh, their employees were like super slow and they messed up our whole order. And the poor girl behind us got a sandwich and she uh, asked for cucumbers. The girl was new and she only put two cucumbers on it. And she asked for ranch and the girl put Caesar salad dressing on her. It was just a slow subway and new people. So it was kind of a terrible lunch, but whatever, over it. Anyways. We are in Nevada now. We just made it to our hotel for the night. Um, it's 12 a.m. We're gonna take showers, eat, and then go to bed and wake up early. We're in Wyoming, so we wanted to stay for the night to see the scenery in the morning because we will be moving to Wyoming in a few years, so we're super excited. Hello, good morning. So it's about 7.20. Um, Anthony's in the shower. We're still in Wyoming. We're getting ready to go and it snowed, let me see. Oh, someone's in their car right now, so I'm not gonna go out. All right, we just got in the car. We are on the road, still here. Um, really, that was unnecessary. In Wyoming. Look at the American Pretty, it's all snowy. Let me roll down my window so you can see these beautiful. We just pulled over on the side of Wyoming. It is gorgeous. We're gonna take some pictures. Yeah, that's what the roads look like. That's what the mountains look like. It's nice and snowy out here. It's just so pretty out here. Okay, Anthony just proposed to me in our dream state, Wyoming. I just had to get that on video really quick. I'll show you the ring. As you guys could tell, I was so unprepared like this. Like, what the heck am I wearing? We were just planning on taking pictures and I was going to crop out the bottom half. But then this happened. Oh my gosh. It's not showing too well on the video. I will um, insert a picture so you can see it better. But we're so excited. Happy New Year's! It is January 1st. We just left our hotel. We entered Iowa last night and there's just snow everywhere. It's so pretty. Take a look at this right out the window. Our next stop is Chicago and we are about five hours away from there. I think we're just going to take the day to kind of see where I used to live. We'll go by where I used to live when I was younger. He wants to get a hot dog from Patella. Portillo's, you probably still can't hear him. Portillo's. <laughs> and then I think we will pick up our puppy tomorrow, so. Ah, almost. Okay, we made it to South Village. This is where I used to live, so we are going to be going to see. We are going to go by my old house. My grandpa actually owns that house now. Can you back up a little bit? Um, my grandpa actually owns this house. Our backyard's connected. Like, there, there's a gate back there. You just open it, and you could go through each other's yard. So that is where my aunt used to live. There it is. This is 
what Anthony is dying to try for Tillo's hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot diggity dogs. So we are, why didn't you drive in there? I don't know where I'm going. Just drive in. Oh, there was like a double marker though. I don't want to do something illegal. Up to the window. Thank you. Thank you. you Thank you. Look, I'm in a little plastic bag. Is that everything? I guess. So, show them what we got. Show the people what we got. Why is it so dark? Eight dollars for this? Okay. So you guys could apparently tell I'm disappointed. There's no chili. I am disappointed to say the least. I ordered a chili cheese fry and this is what I got handed. So like, I gotta darken it. Still gotta darken it. This and this to make cheese fries. Pretty disappointed, but freaking hungry. So we gonna eat. Oh gosh. Okay. So this is what really matters. He already finished half the hot dog. How is it? Yes or no? Good. You wanna bite? No. You like it? Mm-hmm. You wanna bite the pickle? Let me get the that looks it looks good. Have a bite. No, thank you. Turn it the other way so I can see. The other way. <laughs> the other way. Thank you. That looks like a really good looking hot dog. No, not this camera, that camera. This is, showed up close. This is what his Italian beef looks like. All right, go for it. Take another one. delivers. We also got root beer. <clears throat> oh, that's cute. There's a little doggy on the back. A hot dog. Is it going to focus on it? now so it's really hard to see but we're headed to the bean the so, bean that's what Sears Tower is like. we went to Sears Tower just now but it was too dark it's too foggy so here's a picture for you guys to see <laughs> since we didn't get to show it but you can tell it's like really foggy outside you can't see anything the bean. We stayed in Gurney last night, a hotel in Gurney, and we booked two nights. So we will also be here tomorrow. This is outside our window. I love the trees, how they have um, snow on the branches. That's really cool to me. And Anthony, I have a major headache, so. 
We're gonna go out and get some breakfast and I could take some ibuprofen. Why oh, you gotta look all awkward? Hello, everybody. <laughs> He's too into his phone. But yeah, um, he wanted to go check out some yard sales. I don't know if there's still gonna be some because of the weather and it's like going on 10 o'clock. But we're gonna go get some breakfast and see. All right guys, so I ended up not filming our other night in the hotel. We were gonna get the puppy yesterday, but the hotel didn't allow animals. So we're gonna go pick her up right now. And then we're gonna be on our way back to California. We're probably gonna stop in Missouri tonight and stay in Kansas City. So not that long of a trip, but we are gonna go pick her up right now. We just picked her up. Look at those eyes. Oh my gosh. They show so good in the video. Look at this sweet girl. And you guys, she's a lot smaller. Let me uh, darken this a little. She's a lot smaller in person. Like, she looks double or triple the size in my hands in this video, but oh. She's probably like the size of my head. She's so cute. We're thinking about naming her July or Molly. I don't know yet. I was pretty set on July, but now seeing her, I feel like she looks more like a Molly. So I don't know. We'll see. All right, we just went to Portillo's again. Anthony got more hot dogs and whatnot. It's hot ranch. He just couldn't get enough of it. No, he got a malt. <gasps> Strawberry malt. Grab it, grab it. And my drink, or his drink just felt over. Uh, he also got another hot dog. Tell them what you got. I got an Italian beef with peppers this time. And? Onion rings. Onion rings. And what else? Because we're about to fucking, we're, we're about to drive. Like, a Chicago dog too. Because we're about yeah, to we drive. Yeah, we got a Chicago dog right here. <laughs> hot dog. Ooh, hot dog. She's so little and cute. Look at that bite. Oh, he's not gonna focus. I'm gonna insert some pictures because she, this, it just doesn't do her justice. She's just so much cuter in person. Like, these pictures and videos just aren't doing the justice. Why are you pointing at me so? Because I want to. Where's your lens cap at? <laughs> Look at this long hot dog he just pulled out. It's an Italian beef. We didn't expect it. Yeah, but we didn't expect it to be this long. Is it cut? I hope not. No. Let me see it. Oh, it's cut? No. Turn it sideways, I can't see. Hee <laughs> hee! It's a pretty hot dog. Okay, so we are at a gun shop right now. It's 10 a.m. Um, Anthony wants to get some ammo. His friends want him to pick some up because you can't get that in California. He has a few people that he's getting ammo for. Um, we're in Kansas. Let me show you the outside world. That's all it goes? Are you serious? Y'all, that's all it goes, I think. Yeah, 1600. Let me see if I could. Well, that's what the outside looks like right now. I got a couple pictures for that because I just thought it was so cute. Now let's put this back in the car. Um, fix that. The little girl's doing good. Oh, look at your face. Show them those pretty eyes. She has the most gorgeous eyes. My pretty blue eyes. I cannot wait to get her the schnauzer haircut. Like, I'm so excited. You guys, she's 12 weeks old and she weighs like two and a half pounds. She's gonna be tiny. See, I'm gonna be tiny. 
she's a lot smaller in person. You can't tell in the video, but she looks huge in the video actually. And she's a lot fluff. Like, let me see. Can I? All of this is all fluff. She's so cute. She is so cute. Hi guys, so we are about to leave the hotel right now. This was our last night on vacation. We're gonna make it home by tonight. Here's a little girl doing good as always. Look at that little face. Look at, look at the camera. Um, <clears throat> we are in Utah. We entered into Utah last night and we were just like let's just call it a day pretty early since we only have one more day um we are about nine hours away from home we miss our dogs so we're excited to get home anthony's just checking over the hotel room one last time to make sure we didn't forget anything and we look like we're on good schedule we already had breakfast so Hopefully we'll just drive for a while. Um, we're gonna stop in Las Vegas. He wants to show out, um, show out. He wants to check out this shooting range. So we're gonna do that. Hopefully we don't get home too late. He's telling me to hold on, so he must be doing something. Anyways, I will update you guys once we enter into Nevada. All right, um, we made it back into California about an hour ago. Uh, we stopped in Las Vegas to shoot some guns. We wanted to try shooting a different variety of guns that we've never shot before or don't own, so we went ahead and did that. We had fun. She, this has been her spot. We just have a blanket on the middle console thing, and she's been laying here like the whole trip. And yes, our car is full of stuff. So of course we had to go stop by In and Out when we came back. My friend told me about this. It's called a Lemon Up. Pink lemonade mixed with 7-Up. So good. Try it. So we got Molly home. It's been like a week or two. I forgot to take a video. I gave her a haircut myself about a week ago. Come here, Molly. Molly! Just the way I want it. Come here, Molly! Um, I know it's not the exact schnauzer cut, but sorry. This is just how I like it on them. If it would focus, I like this look. Um, I like the eyebrows longer and I like their nose shaved down right here and them to have the beard, I like their ears cut. I honestly was thinking about doing the cropped ears if her ears turned out funky and they do seem to be a little funky when she leaves them like that, but when the hair is long on them, um, when the hair is long on her ears, it looks normal, and Anthony likes how her ears are floppy, so I don't know yet. I'm gonna grow her hair back and not shave her ears the next time and see how that goes. Hold on, girl. And uh, possibly keep her ears on her. Huh. She's a crazy little girl. She's feisty, but let me see. I don't know if her... When we shaved her, it looks like she got a little more spots. And she's going to get more spots as she gets older. That's just how the ticking works. It's called tick marking. But yeah. She's doing great. She's a crazy little ball of fun. Um, we're going to take her up to the cabin today. So she's going to be able to explore a little bit. I believe she needs one more round of shots. So we're not going to be taking her out into public for a little while longer. But she... 
Only our family goes to the cabin, so she'll be fine there. Um, yeah. She's so little. We got her about, I want to say two weeks ago. It's January 19th today. And we picked her up on the 5th, I believe. And she weighed three pounds when we picked her up. And I just weighed her yesterday. And she still weighed the same amount. So, hoping she stays on the smaller side. I'm hoping she stays under 10 pounds. Um, she's supposed to be about around 12 pounds, but according to the weight chart, she should be around 8 pounds as an adult, but I kind of want her to weigh a little more than that since she will be used for breeding. I don't want to use a super small dog that can't handle it or that's going to need a C-section and whatnot. So, hopefully, this little girl... Why are you chewing on me? Why are you chewing on me? Well, be around 10 pounds. Look at those beautiful eyes. Let me see. Let me see. Don't jump. Let me see. Molly. We went with Molly. That's what we named her. Molly. Look at those eyes. Molly. Molly, Molly. She has a little bit of brown in that eye. <laughs> But yeah, she's a sweet girl. She's awesome. I don't know why my camera keeps unfocusing. It might be because of the exposure. Come on. She loves playing with toys. And she was super scared of the other dogs when we got home. She would scream when they'd go next to her, but now she loves them and she honestly bugs them quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 